If your goal is to cross your first 100K in your business right now, there are three major priorities that you should have in your business. Number one, it is make as many sales as humanly possible. Yes, sales is your number one priority. Another priority is your research in development. You should know why something is working and why something is not working. And number three, it is building your authority because if you don't have your authority, nobody will buy. So let's go ahead and dive into each of these priorities and uh, how you can make more sales, how you can do research and development, and how you can build your authority. Let's start with sales. Shall this we? episode is sponsored by my private business mentorship program, Heart and Profit mentorship program. Uh, to find out more, uh, go to the description or show notes for this episode, find the link to schedule a call, fill out the form, and send me a DM so I can tell you more about the program or just send me a DM on LinkedIn or Instagram and let's chat. Okay, back to the awesome. show. Shall we? Listen, sales happen through conversations. How do you start conversations? Listen, it is fairly simple. It is fairly simple. The number one way you can start conversation is actually engage back with your community when they engage with you. This is how it works. Let's say somebody follows you on Instagram. Welcome them to your community. Somebody engage with your post. Engage with them. Ask them why they did, why they engage with you. Like what was what was so interesting about that post? Somebody engaged with your story. Somebody sent you a message. Start conversation. Start start conversation with them. And also, when you start conversation with them, the goal of that conversation not necessarily sell your three thousand dollars program or services right away because this is not how it works they just they just met you right the purpose of that conversation is rather to diagnose them and see are they problem aware because listen if they're not problem aware uh they shouldn't be on the call with you because if they're problem unaware, they will not buy. They will waste your time. They will waste their time. So if they're, if they're problem unaware, help them to diagnose the problem. And um, this is how we normally uh, start a conversation. So let's say somebody follows me. I will ask them one of those questions. Why they follow me? Like what resonated with them from my profile is number one. Another uh, conversation starter for me. It's how, like, what are you working on and what brings you joy? The third question that you can ask uh, is how this year has been for you? Like, how was your 2024? Oh, man, it's been a crazy year. Oh, yeah, tell me more. Oh, um, I went through X, Y, and Z. Like, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What else are you working on? Or maybe somebody said, like, you know, 2024 has been such a great year. I'm like, oh, that's great. Uh, what's next? Oh, yeah. Like, the next is X, Y, and Z. Like, oh, yeah? And how do you get there? Like, what are you what are you working on right now to get there? Like, are there any challenges? Are you noticing that you, are you noticing any challenges with what you're doing right now? Oh, yeah. Like, maybe not challenges, but... I'm actually going through this process and I'm trying to figure out how to do X, Y, and Z. Like, oh, yeah, uh, by the way, uh, I can actually help you with that. Is it something that you would like to dive into more? Uh, like, oh, probably not right now. Like, oh, great. But I actually have a podcast. Would you be interested in listening to my podcast? Oh, yeah, I would love that. So this is one conversation. Or... Maybe they are in active shopping phase. They're like, you know what? Yeah, I'm actually looking for a provider. I'm actually looking for um, a branding consultant. I'm actually looking for a coding mentor. I'm actually looking for a career coach. I'm actually looking for my fitness trainer because my fitness trainer at my gym sucks. And I would like to get better services. 
here we go. Like, what is your problem? Yeah, my problem is blah, 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 blah. And and you dive deeper, like, yeah, like how, like, what do you think that pro- this, this is the problem? Well, because blah, 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 <laughs> you know, and you start conversation. And also, sometimes people are not ready for a conversation and that's okay. When people say that they don't have a problem or they give you the generic answer, one, like one word answer, what it means like, listen, Fuck off. Stop selling. I'm not ready for the conversation. You are doing too much, okay? They're not going to say that, but I'm like, as your business bestie, I'm going to tell you, this is what they're saying. They're saying like, hey, back off. Like, stand back. Like, you do, like, you, like you're coming in hot, and I'm not hot. Like, I'm not even warm. I'm just like, okay, you're a nice person. I follow you. So... If people respond like that, meaning like, yeah, maybe you need to like back up a little bit and give people space because not everybody is ready for a conversation. Start conversation. How else you can start a conversation? Prom post. So this is what I mean by that. Have you ever seen those posts on Instagram, LinkedIn, somebody said, hey, I am starting a case study. I'm looking for five like, I don't know, um, coaches, women, whatever, unicorns to do X, Y, and Z, come in the word, pregnant, and I will send you the details, right? That's, that is called prom, prom post. So this is how you can do it. You can create your prom post. So uh, you can create something like mysterious and exciting. Either it's a new case study, it's a new program, and you can say, hey, you're like, this is not quite public yet, but I'm looking for five people to do a case study. Uh, it's simple how it works, and we start on, let's say, Monday. Come in the word pregnant unicorn or mushroom or whatever pony <laughs> Rachel Rogers used pony um and I will send you the details and people would come in like pregnant 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 unicorn 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 pony like whatever mushroom like you know uh weirdo <laughs> like so and when people post that secret word that means they say like, yes, please send me the details. Like I'm kind of open to a conversation and you slide into their DM and you start a conversation. So it is permission-based marketing, prompt post or one word marketing. Like so many people call it so many, so many different ways, but the, the, prom, the, the premise of this uh, marketing technique is to create a post, have a secret word, and really, like, uh, write that post as simple as humanly possible. It doesn't have to be clever. It has to be clear. It has to be clear. And have a word for them. Have an indicator how people can start a conversation. For example, when I was selling my career coaching, I would have posts where people would say, hey, like, this is my client. She landed a job. She landed a leadership role. If you're looking for a job right now, come in the word job. And people like, people would send me a DM like, hey, job. <laughs> like, they would not comment on LinkedIn because not everybody wants to know everybody's, uh, everybody's business. People would say, hey, I'm looking for a job. And so you post, I'm looking for a job. This is prompt post. This is how you start conversations. And this is how you can start making sales right now. Now, number two, um, let's talk about um, your research and development. Research and development, otherwise known as fuck-ups, mistakes, failures, and um, flops. Answer research and development. Listen, when it comes to entrepreneurship, we're going to make more mistakes. We're going to lose more than we win. But when we win, we have a chance to win big. This is how entrepreneurship works. This is why, like, entrepreneurship is not safe. 
you can win big, you can win big, you can make a lot of money and you can lose a lot of money. Money like money money is not everything. Money is a currency. Like you can have a bucket of money and then that bucket breaks and you lose all like all the money, all the water. But guess what? You can build another bucket and collect as much water as po as humanly possible. So when you do your research and development, two major questions that you need to ask right now if you are under 100K, why people don't buy and why people buy. Why people don't buy. When, people, when somebody said no, ask them, why did they say no? Is it money? Maybe people truly, truthfully, honestly, they cannot afford your services. Qualification problem. You're not qualifying them financially very well. You're talking to broke people who cannot afford your services, and you need to stop. If it is true, like true, true uh, reason. It can be a smoke objection, but... And uh, um, uh, last, last week, I actually recorded a, uh, an episode how to close more, um, uh, more sales calls on, on your call. So like, watch that. Make sure that you have qualification. Uh, qualification. So ask them why no. Why, why, why not me and, or why not right now? Now, when people say yes, ask them why yes. Essential point. Ask them before services were rendered because even if they experience one session with you or if you deliver anything to them and you ask them why do you work with me the result will be skewed and you're not gonna have the right research uh and the, the right research for your business Ask them before the services were rendered. You're onboarding them before you provide any kind of transformation, before you provide any kind of quick win. So like, hey, by the way, I know we went, like, we went over it like in our consultation call, but what did you buy? Like, what did you say yes? What about me specifically? Uh, pick your interest to say yes and work with me. And it's essential before services are rendered it can be it can be a questionnaire it can be on board like whatever your onboarding document research in development ask them why did they buy and when you see uh, the pattern why people buy this is your marketing material this is your program promise this is like this is literally you can take that those words and say and this is what you get because this is what people say. This is how people see you. And especially, like, as the customer journey continues, especially if that client ends up being the right client and the best client of yours, this is the foundation of your messaging. And the more clients you have and the more messaging you have that... Um, tells you why people buy the better your marketing is because that at that point your marketing is based on data and not your imagination because at some point like we have assumption we have marketing assumptions but when we have data from our customers why they actually buy then we can use it in our marketing now, let's talk about building your authority. Building your authority is essential, especially uh, at any point in your business. At any point in your business, your authority is everything. If you don't have authority, people won't buy your $30 course, your $15 course, your $7 event. Like, it's just like, it just, they, like they, they won't have it. How do you build authority? Number one is building your own stage and be consistent with your, uh, with your uh, content. Start a podcast. Podcast is an authority building tool. Amazing. Start a YouTube channel. Do live streams. Listen, all of my clients, they do either podcasts or live streams or both. And guess what happens to them? They got invited to a conferences. 
speaking engagement podcasts and summits and they're allowed to sell on stage and i teach them how to sell on stage effectively in fact with one of my clients uh donovan like he was invited to a conference and not only he was invited to a conference they recorded promotional video of him professional promotional video I'm like oh dang it like donovan like that's really good and he was able to sell on stage and he won the reward for the best speech ever because guess what we did right before his uh, conference we were practicing how to sell on stage without selling without telling without being salesy without being sleazy and service your customers so effectively he won the reward and he booked clients but it starts with your content it starts with you building your community build your community give more than you can receive listen a lot of people think i can give them too much i like listen if you not making a hundred k yet you cannot afford to be vague and post fluff because guess what if you're gatekeeping information chat gpt is already giving it away for a way cheaper price twenty dollar twenty dollar nineteen dollars a month in fact i can ask chat gpt how to build coaching program and it will give me answers chat gpt can give me feedback on my messaging more or less if i'm looking for information chat gpt has it google has it gemini has it gemini is the ai platform has it so if you under 100k per year you cannot afford to be vague you cannot afford not to be visible you cannot afford to be uh, to be uh, to post fluff give more, more than you can receive and listen when it comes to your content you have public service content so for my business this podcast this youtube channel this is public service content as one of my mentors said this is a church i want you to come and win no matter if you have money or if you don't have money no matter if you're building a business or not building a business or maybe you are going through a difficult time right now and you cannot afford coaching services but you need information you need to feed your soul you need to find that motivation you need to find that transformation that will get you get you to the next level get you to the next step so you can ha- hit your first sales you th- so you can invest in, in your mentor you can make sales in your business your business is profitable this is public service content because when you give people generously people will come to you for more because if this is so good and this is so good and this is serves you so good imagine what is behind the paywall because behind the paywall here's a real transformation it's a private mentorship it's a it's a high touch services it's done for you it is teaching and consulting and coaching all in one place all in one place right but it starts with your public service content and i show up a hundred percent and i don't i do not hold back i do not hold back because i want you to win no matter if you're a client or not so let's summarize it what are your priorities if you are building your business and you are under 100k yet yet because it's coming and it's coming faster than you can imagine sales make as many sales as humanly possible research and developments don't call it mistakes failures flops fuck ups mess ups no it's research and development in fact enjoy the process enjoy the process enjoy the testing tweak pivot move stick and move stick and move baby you know keep moving keep improving and build your authority 
build your authority, by building your community, by building your content, by building your platform. And when you build your platform and when you are consistent, other people will see you, other people will invite you to conferences, to a podcast, to their stages, to their summits. This is how you build authority. Listen, if you need a mentor who will help you to get to that 100K in your business by making you more, helping you to make more sales, helping you with the research and development and maybe like safeguarding you and say, hey, don't, do, don't go there, <laughs> danger. Listen, let's, let's do this instead. Let's test this and see how it performs. And also like navigate you how, how to fail safe and help you to build authority and help you to sell on stage because when you got like the easiest thing in your business that you can learn that you can do right now is like actually book speaking engagements and it doesn't have to be a big stage but what you want to do on that stage is to sell on stage ethically and i can help you with that listen if you need a mentor the link to work with me is in the description notes is in the show notes Fill out the application. It's a really short application. Send me a DM and let's have a conversation. Later.